Now, Sri Laksh R. Rashmanan. Yes. Five minutes. Maximum five minutes. Honorable Deputy Chairman, sir. At the outset, I, a medical doctor, wholeheartedly welcome the bill and support it on behalf of my party, AADMK, following the footsteps are of our former Chief Minister, Honorable Purichi Talavi Amma. The bill is removing discrimination against those living with HIV AIDS in a major way. In most cases, the best hope the affected have is the law. I welcome the bill as it gives some kind of legal and social protection to the HIV AIDS affected people. At the same time, I would like to bring to the attention of the Honorable Minister that the bill as it is presented to the House does not reflect the original shape and spirit of the earlier version. The bill in its final version given to us shows that the law is paying more attention to prevention, pre preventive measures alone and is elusive when it comes to guaranteeing treatment to the HIV affected people. The bill says it will do as far as possible but does not say that we guarantee when it comes to prevention and right to access treatment. So I request the government to guarantee quality treatment in the form of ART and management of infection that takes advantage of weakness in the immune system. It must be made a matter of right for the HIV AIDS affected citizens who are generally from the weaker section of the society. While allocation of resources for implementing the law we are about to pass may be a matter of one-time decision making. Whereas the success of the spirit of the law depends largely on creating awareness about the disease, its nature, and the care that has to be given to the affected individuals. Ours is a vast country, largely rural, huge population, not adequately educated, and all kinds of age-old superstitious belief control the mindset of the people. Hence, very profound and professional planning must be made to educate the people about the plight of HIV AIDS fellow citizens. This task of educating the people must be an ongoing long-term professional work. One other reason why I welcome the bill is this may be the first disease-concerned center bill of the India. When made into law, this bill will protect the HIV AIDS affected people against discrimination and curb human rights violation meted out to them. The drafting of the bill started in the year 2002 and it has taken so long to come to this house. I am concerned this 14 years of hard work at various level should not be a futile exercise. Hence, I with your kind permission sir would like to quote the French medical NGO MSF Medicine Science Frontiers Southeast Asian head Ms. Lena Menenis views on this bill. The Indian government steps to legislate on a public health issue is critical to the national program, but the government is not taking a strong position on the access to treatment clause. India is the pharmacy of developing world. It has technical capacity to produce, a, produce and lower the price of all essential and life-saving drugs. It is now up to the parliamentarians to strengthen the bill further to ensure the rights of HIV positive persons are protected. Sir, I would like to bring to the attention of the Honorable Minister that of the approximately 21 lakh persons affected by the HIV in India, only 25% gets ART treatment as against the global percentage of 41% receiving the treatment. Considering this fact, will help us to create a more meaningful law. With these words, I support the bill. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Lakshmanan. Thank you very much. Now, Honorable Minister.